Hello and welcome to Module 3, Capturing Your Concepts in Autodesk Vault. My name is Brian Shannon and I'm Product Manager with the Autodesk Vault family of products. This module's agenda is going to cover uh, integration of Vault within other CAD applications. And we're going to take first a look at the InCAD access to project data. So some of the things that we learned about in the last module with projects and links how can we leverage that with our best-in-class CAD integration within Inventor? Next, we're going to be taking a look at visual data management, heads-up display, and uh, the ability to map data and stay within one user interface, uh, that being Inventor, and still work with all of the data inside of the vault and get our job done. Then we're going to take a look at some new functionality known as a revision table integration that extends vaults uh, intelligent revision management um, all the way to the table that goes onto the drawing. Then we're going to take a look at the sheet set manager, so those pilot production type barriers that AutoCAD users, if they're using uh, sheet set manager, we now have uh, full vault integration with that. And then finally, a, a checkpoint and a summary towards the end. So let's talk about integration. This is of the, the three pillars of this series, uh, integration, collaboration, and flexibility. This one is going to focus heavily on the integration. Yes, we're going to see some of the other uh, features uh, come through this, but this one is all about the integration within CAD. Vault 2012 uh, now has integration to more products than ever before. So a common challenge of customers is, well, you know, there's Vault, but I have a workaround or I have to, to manually work with it. Well, now we have deep integrations with, uh, of course, Inventor and AutoCAD and all the verticals, but there's there's other new products that we'll get to uh, in these discussions. So we have um, integration. When we say integration, we mean that Vault is there. Check in and check out from directly uh, within the products. So from within Inventor, we actually have the ability to leverage the project functionality that we've seen earlier directly inside of the open and place and drawing view. So that means we have access to the files, the items, even change orders, and other projects. And what this means is we're bringing items and ECOs and all of this data closer to Inventor users, bringing it to where they need during all um, open and place and other uh, interactions within the vault. So this allows us to navigate, for instance, uh, during an open. I can open up a, an item and see all of the files that are linked in and that are, are part of that item. So I can look inside of an item. You also might work directly by uh, opening up a project that has links to ECOs and you want to take a look at per that ECO what are the files that I need to go in and look at that are inside of that ECO so it allows me to get this project data and work it within one interface so think about that we don't have to stop go to vault remember that or make a shortcut to it and come over here we can do it all from directly inside of Inventor so visual data management let's let's review uh, the idea of uh, visual data management within Inventor. So this is the ability to take data that is inside of the vault and run a report. We're actually leveraging our report engine, but now that you, now you have this report so we can see this as a nice uh, pie chart. We can paint those properties. I want you to think of painting the metadata right onto the CAD file. And once you do that, you might have uh, certain parts that are in that assembly that you want to isolate so we can visually map this and this visual data management allows you to see your vault data reflected directly onto the CAD model. So what? So what can we do with that? Well we can do things like edit, we can also do things like take all of that information and call up a, a series of cards and actually edit the metadata. This might be something you do not only at the beginning of your design but towards the end. So finishing this off as you go and uh, want to finish all of the data, you know, the, you have to dot the I's and cross the T's, so here is all of the information that you have by just pulling up the data cards built off of the, the data mapping. 